Hello my love and pack, I am back with you at another video. Today we're going to be doing another creepy video. This is going to be a story sent in from one of my viewers. But before we start the video, remember to like and subscribe to my channel, follow me on everything, and of course, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Um, I notice that some of you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, so if you could, that would mean a lot to me, and it will help our wolf pack grow even bigger. But yeah, we'll the intro. For the sake of this uh, privacy reasons, um, I'm going to change my uh, subscriber's name to Matt. Um, I don't want to give out his real name, so I'm just going to call him Matt for the sake of privacy reasons. But let's get into this video. I met the devil when I was 16 years old. I was with some friends at a park in San Antonio, Texas. On the south side, and this man appeared to us and but he told others to walk away he was older with ashy skin white hair and yellow and red eyes he asked me why I hated God and I told him that I was watched by I watched my mother get murdered when I was five. Oh, that sucks right in front of me he said that if I followed him that he would grant me powers that I would be able to use to make people do what I want. Before I finish the story I want to say when you hear the word uh, when you hear that as your cue to pull a fast and the furious. Anyways, he then disappeared right before my eyes. And then my friends came back and I stood and in this pentagram that was drawn on the table and all of a sudden I started chanting and saying this language that something that didn't even I didn't even know all of a sudden the ground shook and all the lights blew out of the skies and everything smelled like suffering and rotten eggs that was the most scared anyone around me had ever been and they all ran away from me St uh, stating that morbid into something different. I want my. Uh, I went to my girlfriend's house and locked the door up, so I couldn't come inside. I don't remember anything else other than that I had dreams or rather nightmares that I was in a place where I watched demons eat people, and I cut. Uh, sorry, I could hear their screaming and watched as their flesh and meat was being eaten but would it come back as soon as they looked dead but then it would start all over again this is the most terrifying I've ever been okay so my thoughts on this story is that it's creepy as hell and scary but uh, I'm not the type of person to believe in Satan. Um, Satan is a Christian construct, which I am not a Christian. I am a Welsh Celtic pagan. I do believe there are dark things out there, and I certainly believe there are good things out there because you can't have a superhero without a villain. That's just not how it works, you know. You gotta have balance, you know. Dark needs light, and light needs dark. But my, but I, I, I believe in more than one God, and I believe in there are multiple devils that I believe in and one of the devils I personally believe in is um, just a negative human being that's just me um, but as, as far as uh, it's just a really creepy con uh, thing to think about now he said he met the devil and I'm not saying he's lying or he's making it up I'm not saying that but human perception of these creatures are 
how you how do I put this? It's not good. You know, as humans' perception, when we see these these beings, both evil and good, we see them as something that's not correct. Uh, it, 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 to us, this cup is a cup, correct? Well, when we see these these divine beings, these, these evil and powerful beings, like before, people thought angels had wings. They look like humans with wings, right? Well, then later on after that, they said they were like giants, like huge beings. But those are wrong. We Whatever we see these things as is what we perceive. Uh, but what I'm trying to say is that they don't have physical bodies. You know, they're not... They are not physical. They can show themselves as anything they want. They can possess people if they want. But their natural form is just a uh, light or smoke. If you've ever seen Supernatural, it's kind of like that. But um, with demons, it's more of a smoke. And with angels, of course, it's light. Uh, I do believe in angels and demons. I just don't believe the devil exists. I don't believe in much of Christianity, Christianity's constructs. But if you guys are Christian, I don't judge you for that. You know, be, believe whatever you want to believe in. I I don't care. But when I, but this story is creepy. Like I said, I am not releasing my subscriber who sent me this story. I'm not releasing his real name. We'll just call him Matt. So Matt, if you're watching this, thank you for this creepy story that I get to tell on my channel. Um, I hope I did a justice reading it for you. Um, but, yes. And one of the things I believe about this story is I believe that he saw a powerful demon. I don't think it was literally Satan. I think the only reason he might have uh, said or implied that he was Satan is because people... Well, you know, that's the Christian construct, that's the construct, that, that, that is perception. So they know what you think about them. They know what to do to manipulate themselves to make you believe something else. They're deceiving you. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, there are so many things that we don't know about the supernatural and the paranormal. Um, but what we think we know is not what we know. What we think we know is the complete opposite of what really is going on. Um, but there's a lot of things in this world that are evil. But this story takes the cake. This story is wow. But uh, so if you guys have any stories you want me to tell, uh, any creepy stories, it doesn't have to be paranormal. It could be about a stalker. It could be about a murder, a cult, whatever. If you got a creepy story, let me know in the comments, or you can go over to my Facebook page and DM me, and I will tell your story next. Like always, I will not use your real name for privacy reasons, so please let me know in the comments if you would like me to tell your story, and we'll go from there. So thank you. Like, subscribe, follow me, and everything. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos, and uh, that's going to be it. Goodbye, guys.